Well, hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. It is time again to shop my stash for April. Um, I wanted to shop my stash this time for single eyeshadows. I wanted to pick out 10 single eyeshadows because when I show you this drawer, like it's, it's stuffed to the brim and I do reach for them. I wanna say, I, re I, wanna, I think I reach for them less often than I think I do. Does that make sense? I think I use them a lot more than I actually do. Um, and one of you guys actually requested to show the drawers while I'm shopping my stash, so that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm just gonna pick out 10 single eyeshadows, but I think I wanna go for all of the liquid ones. I'm gonna pick out all the liquids or cream, uh, like sticks and stuff, like ones I don't use that often or ones that I feel like I need to use a lot more because, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna expire a lot quicker than a powder one might. So I'm gonna pick out 10 cream-ish eyeshadows, but I think I'm gonna go for also a highlighter, a blush. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll show you, I'll show you here in a second. But anyway, let's pick out the shadows though.
Okay, so here is all of the sticks and stuff I'm gonna be using, but I also picked out these from e.l.f. These are the Line Define Eye Tapes, and I've used these only a couple of times, but I don't know, I just, I don't know if I like the way that makeup looks like super sharp like that. I don't know. Um, and also these are really uncomfortable to peel off. So they're like a piece of, it looks like surgical tape to kind of put here on the side of your eyes so you can get a really sharp line, maybe with like a liquid liner or something. And I thought these would be nice to use with some of these cream shadow sticks to get like a nice wing type of thing. We'll see, like I've used a few of them, like on this one, but they're super uncomfortable to peel off. They like pull up your skin and everything. But I've had them for ever and ever and ever, so I'll try to use them this month and we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna put on some concealer. I don't feel like doing foundation today, so I'm putting on a little bit of concealer and then we'll go in with all of these uh, Wet n Wild makeup sticks, or as many as I can use today. Actually, you know what? There's one in here that's kind of a concealer one. This is the, what is it called? It just says Mega Glow Makeup Stick Conceal. This is the shade Follow Your Bisque. I don't remember this working for me as a concealer shade though. Mm, maybe under the eyes. I'll try this out under the eyes, but I don't wanna like draw with this stick under my eye. So I'm gonna, ooh, it's a little dry. Considering how long I've had these, these still feel very creamy. Like the top of it was dry, but once I kind of like drew that part off, it feels fine. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I just got a little bit on my finger just from the stick here. I'm just gonna put it on my under eye and see how it goes. It feels super duper creamy. Like so creamy that I feel like it's gonna disappear <laughs> throughout the day. But I did kind of wanna do something really light. Ooh, that's really bright. Oh, I forgot to wring the water out of my sponge. I wet it and it's super wet. Hold on, I gotta wring this out. Okay, that's better. Also, I'm sure you saw a tiny piece of sponge stuck to my face. I've had this sponge since December and I think it's getting, it's getting close. It still works really good though, so I, I will use it till it falls apart. Well, that blended so easily. Like, look how bright my under eyes look. Um, it's not like covering a whole lot, but it is brightening. Um, but again, I really wanted to do something super light today, so I'm not really wanting to put something high coverage on my under eyes. But I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna like this color on the rest of my face, it just seems a little too light. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of something else and we will come back with the like bronzer blush shades. But this is kind of nice, kind of nice for a light look on the under eyes. Okay, I just put on a little bit of the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. I think it goes really well with the one on the under eyes. Just something really light, fresh, and dewy. I'm not gonna put on any powder just because I'm just gonna use a bunch of creams today. This is the contour makeup stick in the shade Call Me Maple. And I don't know about this one. It seems a little dark and just really not my color, you know? I don't know. I do like a little bit of an orange bronzer color. We'll do a little bit, but I'm kind of afraid of this one, to be honest. I'm just gonna kind of dab it where I would want it, some bronzer. I mean, it gave a really nice soft definition. I mean, it goes well with what I wanna do today but I don't know if this is something I would like get with, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have got it with a brush. Got it with a brush and, and like stippled it on or something. I'll try it like that throughout the month and see. I feel like I'm gonna like it more if I get it with a, uh, a stipple brush, like just wipe the brush on top of the stick and put it on that way. Cause this is super, super soft, really, really soft, but it's fine for today. Okay, next up we have three blushes. Um, I have the shades, uh, which one's this? Peach Bums, that's a cute name, Peach Bums. This one is Hustle and Glow. I remember this name, I remember that one. And then this one is Floral Majority. This is the deepest one, let me swatch all of these. And these are still very creamy. You know which ones I need to start using are the, um, the Maybelline Master Glaze Blush Sticks. I've had those forever, they're some of my absolute favorites. I love the packaging so much on those. 
but I wore one not too long ago and it faded so fast but it might just be because they're really old but they're super creamy anyway uh, these are super creamy still after all this time and these are really pretty shades which one is that really metallic looking one is it this one oh yeah the one called peach bums that's this one right here it's very highlightery like it looks like a metallic eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna use the orangey coral one. That's actually not what I would get from this. So from this stick that I thought was gonna be kind of pink, it's really orange, it's that one there in the middle. Um, do I have a clean brush? Oh my God, they're all so dirty. I need to wash these brushes today. I'm just gonna get a little bit of this on a brush, the one called Hustle and Glow, and just dab it on. That is pretty. I really like that. I'm not expecting this makeup to last very long, to be honest, because it's all so light, but it looks pretty right now. I like it. it looks really nice and fresh. Let's do a little on the nose. Why not? Hmm. Like it. All right. There is a highlighter one, and I don't remember liking this. This is the shade When the Nude Strikes. This is the highlighter stick. I feel like it's one of those ones that has that undertone that I don't really like. It looks really pretty right there though, but I'm trying to see if it has that gray tone that sometimes these really light highlighters have. Mm, I feel like it's going to, like that silver kind of color. I don't even know if I want to use it, but I'm going to try it today. Just dab it on lightly. Hmm, really pretty. I don't see that weird undertone actually, like that gray kind of look. All right, this is going okay. Other than the bronzer one, I wish the bronzer was a little more intense, but I guess I could have put that on with the brush. Hmm, not bad. Okay, I actually used all of those sticks. I was surprised, okay. Let's move on to some of these eyeshadows. I know I have this super light, fresh makeup look on and then I'm gonna put on like a glitter eyeshadow. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Let me show you everything I picked out. So I wanted to go for all of these, I know there's one more in there, I just gotta find it. Um, all of these like uh, liquid eyeshadows, I got one from number seven, from e.l.f., from Koki, and then two from Stila, and I think I'm gonna, let's try out this one from e.l.f. This is the Retro Paradise one in the shade Flirty Birdie. Oh wow, okay, I thought it was gonna be completely dry as a bone. All right, there's actually some in there. That's it right there. I think I'm gonna swatch all of these. I think I'm gonna wear this one today. Let me put on some eyebrows real quick, wash off these swatches. We'll swatch all the eyeshadows I picked up and then we'll, we'll continue on. Okay, just put on some eyebrows, and while the gel is drying, let's swatch all these things I picked out. So the couple from Stila I got, the Kitten Karma uh, Glitter and Glow shade. I think the Shimmer and Glow one is a little nicer. Like these ones, it's like a nice cream eyeshadow that has a bunch of glitter in it, but it kind of goes on a little uneven at times. I find this one to be really nice just for like inner corner, like pop of stuff. Not necessarily for a full eye look, because I just don't think it goes on super even. Uh, but I will use it this month. This is the Koki Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade... Maybe that's the color. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. Pretty sure I got this at Sally Beauty. These are all going to be the same tone. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this one still feels really nice. I thought that was going to be dried out too. Look at that mirror finish. Really pretty. Maybe I should have used that one today. This is one of my favorites. This is another one from Stila. This is the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Dynamic. It's this beautiful green. Oh my gosh, look at that. So beautiful. I love this one. This is the number seven liquid eyeshadow in the shade Mercury Shine. This was a holiday release. So they don't really make these in the regular line. I wish they did though. They need some more like fun stuff in their line, I think. So that's that one right there. Look at all these mirror finishes. Super pretty. And then the last liquid eyeshadow I got, which is the one I'm gonna use today, is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise uh, in the shade Flirty Birdie. 
This was part of the Retro Paradise collection that they came out with. I don't know if this one has much life left in it, but I will see what I can do today. That's that one right there. And then I got this Dazzle Stick from KVD. This is the shade Thundercloud. I absolutely love this. It's like a little lipstick eyeshadow and you just draw it on your lid. It's so pretty. And when I first got this one and I tried it out, I was like, oh my God, I gotta go buy them all. I didn't buy any more though. I think I just, I just was like, just love and appreciate the one you have. And it's so pretty. It's fully opaque, like super easy to use with like full intensity. It's really nice. This is the CoverGirl Creamy Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Greenscapes. I don't really like this that much, but it'll give a nice like something maybe with that green eyeshadow from Stila because it has like no pigmentation like that's it right there can you even see it it's so light it almost like when I wear this it almost looks like I had eyeshadow on yesterday and I didn't wash it off well enough and there's like a little stain left behind it's just not very pretty it doesn't build on itself well I'll use it this month maybe but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna let go of that one anyway this is uh, two of them from Nude Sticks, the Magnetic Luminous Eye Colors in the shades Burnish and Nudity. I've had these for a really long time as well. This is Nudity right there, and that one's called Burnish. They look so similar, but they're slightly different. One is a little cool toned, one is a little more copper. And then, oh my gosh, I have two more. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt No Budge Shadow Stick in the shade Melt With Me. I honestly don't remember why I bought this. Oh yeah, look, this is super dry. Like it just fell right out of the thing. If I could turn it down, oh no. Oh, it's still very creamy. It feels very dry and it's not even like in the container, but look how much pigment it still has. That's a little dark. And then this is the item Lid Glaze in the shade Desert Weekend. That's really pretty. But the texture, I feel like it's going to be one of those shades that the more you blend, the more it kind of disappears and it's a little difficult to use. But it looks pretty in a swatch. So those are all of the liquid eyeshadows I picked out for this month. They all kind of look similar, don't they? But they're different textures and, you know, brands and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to get more use out of these, these eyeshadows I have. But I'm going to use that e.l.f. one today. I mean, even when I pull it out of here, it has barely any stuff stuck on the top there. So I think its days are numbered. Well, let's see what I can do today. I should have put on a little bit of powder eyeshadow first because I find that these liquid eyeshadows, they all go on really well on top of powder, but I feel like blending it out afterwards I don't know, there's something about it I don't like. I like having a little powder in the crease to kind of help it blend. What do I have handy? Uh, what's in this palette? The Fame palette by ColourPop. Anything in here that's going to go with it? No. Strawberry Dream? Oh yeah, let's go Strawberry Dream from... Uh, who is this? Who is this by? to kind of add a tiny bit of something to the crease area just to kind of help it I don't know not look so like straight like I drew on a liquid eyeshadow but in that process it does remove a little bit but while that dries uh, let's move on to the other side I'm surprised at how much life this little shadow still has because I've had it for a long time I want to say three years I think that collection, that collection came out over two years ago, I know that. Because I remember buying it in the apartment, and that was two years ago. A little bit of setting spray. I'm using the Hard Candy uh, Sheer Envy Stay and, Stay and Slay setting spray, but I poured it into another bottle because I don't really like that sprayer on that one. I'm going to do some setting spray mascara, and then we will wrap it up. Alright, so I put on some mascara. Of course, I use the Maybelline Sky High on the lower lashes, the Sky High Primer with the One Size Fantasize Mascara. I haven't used this in a really long time, just this little sample, and I really, really like those two mixed together. Um, I really like this like light and fresh, barely there makeup with glitter eyeshadow. I think it's kind of nice, but that is it. I'm doing this. My grandma loves when I do this at the end of my videos. <laughs> anyway, 
That is it. That's my shelf my stash for April. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any of these products? What would you... Mm, how do I do it? But that is it. I'm super excited to get some more use out of these liquid and cream eyeshadows and I'm actually shocked at how many of them still have a lot of life left. Like I, I honestly thought a lot of these were going to be dried out, especially these liquid ones that are in these containers. But they seem to have a lot of life left in them and I'm excited to get some more use out of them this month. Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.